from business fights poverty, and we are here in Kikuva to try and understand um, what the local people or local business people, especially uh, such as yourself, are doing to develop um, this village. Um, but also the role that business plays in developing um, the, the village. Um, so if you can introduce yourself to our viewers, please. Uh, I, I can ask uh, Gisha Juliet. I'm a farmer. I do local farming. Uh, I grow some crops on a small scale, uh, mainly maize. Uh, and I have poultry at home in small scale. Yeah. And uh, we have a women group here in Chikuwe village. Uh, in my business of farming, I grow maize uh, after growing in. Sometimes I get, I get some capsule, I have a little capsule. Uh, there, I get to our tractors for first plowing, second plowing, and uh, after that. But anyway, in that business, I have some challenges. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. have some challenges. Yeah, there. yeah. Uh, mainly after grow, after cultivating, weeding, uh, marketing was a problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Marketing. And in most cases, getting tractors for, for plowing is also not easy. Mm -hmm. At times, when you see, mainly the first season, when people are uh, trying to prepare their gardens for first plowing and second plowing, getting tractors here is a bit of problem, difficult here in Chikungu. Okay, is that because there is a shortage of tractors? Uh -huh. or? Uh, there is a shortage. They are in scars. Okay. Uh, they are in scars. Getting a tractor for plastic plowing is a bit a problem to us. Um, are they expensive to hire? Uh, they are very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, they are very expensive. They can, for plastic plowing, you can do it at uh, 100,000 uh, plastic plowing per acre. That's roughly uh, 35 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is expensive actually. It's expensive. Yeah, that is very expensive. Um, tell us about you as an individual. Are you married? Have you got children? And yeah, well, I'm married. I have four children. Okay. Are they at school? Uh, two of them are at, are at school. Okay. Yeah. So is a business owned entirely by yourself or do you own it with your husband? Uh, that one. Of growing maize, is the, is I myself. You own it by I yourself. Own it okay. myself. Well, that's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> that's impressive. I try mm -hmm. on my side, mm -hmm. but the husband also supports. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how has this business improved your life? Okay, uh, as a source of income, when after growing, getting the crops from the garden after harvesting, I sell. There, I can manage to buy some clothes for my children and other necessities as I a woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, in terms of um, paying for education and health care, how does that work in your household? Is that from your business or does your husband pay for that? In most cases, my husband works on mainly on developing our our family, mm -hmm. but he helps care mm -hmm. mainly it's on our on my side okay. as a woman. Okay, <laughs> so your business um, helps you to to pay to, for to mainly to look after the children. Mm -hmm. uh, for because if you have grown maize, at times you are lacking some of the thing or for the needs for balanced diet, and you have to buy. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You mean in terms of food and uh, nutrition and yeah. Okay. 